fire in the flow arts was probably one of the original like big impressions you know I mean we didn't always have LEDs or anything like that so uh, like traditional Hawaiian spinners speed spinners they spin fire and that's because it was impressive but also kind of scary so it gives people something to like be amazed at sure I was the first person he's ever seen spin anything like we, we used to live together and we had this house and it was like our backyard was like kind of like this we all we had a bunch of spinners living there I grew like there was a lot of people that came up in the spinning in their spinning like life at, at our house together Jimmy being one of them and Mike Corelli being another one of them. like they all the first time I met them um, I had a flow on, I was just getting into it, and uh, they were doing it. We'd always come back to Jimmy's house at the time and spin, and that's way before they even started spinning. So, I kind of like to think that uh, I'm a father figure to Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> story to tell. So two and a half years ago I went to a little festival called Stouty Fest um, down near Chillicothe, Ohio and I saw a girl playing with a flow wand and I was like I don't know what that is but I want it. <laughs> so I went home and I googled floating stick and sure enough I found a flow wand, I bought it, I played with it and then I moved up here. Um, that's where I found Jimmy Black and that was about two Aprils ago and started coming to spin jams, playing. I had my first hoop handed to me, and then I saw a girl off to the side playing with a levy wand. And I was like, oh my God, that's when it hit me. Uh, the girl playing with the levy wand was actually Erica, Jimmy's girlfriend, and we found out after we became friends, so that's one of my favorite little stories to tell. <laughs> Artistry in motion means the community to me because it's just all about all of us coming together and really creating a flow space for everybody to come and enjoy and do what they do and flow. <laughs> Your loving is so vicious, pulling me right to the brink. Not trying to be a missus, it makes me want to drink. And I'm tired of cleaning up after you and doing all these chores. You're gonna have to let it go if you want me to be yours. Tempted not to follow. Bit of 
pill to swallow. Low arts has given me a lot. It's completely changed me as a person. It's given me confidence, it's given me focus, it's given me just like the, the overall confidence to, that like I can do things. Like like I, I can do whatever I want as long as I'm willing to put forth the effort needed. Like if I'm willing to try things. I might fail sometimes. I drop props all the time. I mean, juggling is 95% dropping stuff. That's the same thing in life. So it, it's kind of showed me how to succeed, how to how to learn, how to bring together people and see them learn and grow. It's, it's, it's really all inspiring. And I really want to bring that to the community. I want to bring people in and be like, hey, like, you know, you don't think you can do the thing, you can do the thing. You think that I don't see it? Will you send her on your phone? Well, we just work together. So just leave it alone But I'm not blind and you still mine Don't you go and waste my time You're using that duck, using me Lady, try to ease your mind Need nothing but the feeling Looking better when you're leaving No, I ain't even grieving Ooh, make me wanna be a heathen I don't think the goal of Artistry in Motion is to be exclusively for props or exclusively for anything. I think it should be for expression of art through movement. Even moving a painting brush is like, that's, that's expression through movement, you know. I think that's the whole point, is not to limit it to anything but to express as much as we can. How long have you been into flow arts? Very recently. I only uh, met up with one of my old friends a few months ago, and we hadn't seen each other in years, but he told me that I needed to come check this out. He showed me a few videos, and I thought it was the coolest thing I'd ever heard. <laughs> um, I got started with staff, and then I played with fans for a while. Right now I'm working on contact staff, because um, I love the idea of moving around without using your hands. It feels like magic when you get something right. <laughs> Puppy dog eyes, puppy dog eyes, puppy dog eyes, puppy dog eyes. Thursday, the day we showed up, I bought a dragon staff, and then I proceeded to take nine dragon staff workshops. That's nine hours of dragon staff classes, plus the drilling I did. And on Saturday night, I burned it for the first time twice, and it was like magic. It was wonderful. I've talked to a lot of people who like run spin gyms in cities and it gets cold and you can't do it anymore so everyone just goes inside. People who only do like one event a week and wish they can out more but it's hard to find time, hard to find places. I want to show people that if I can do it in my little city of Dayton, Ohio, small, really small city compared to a lot of them, anybody can do it. This, this is just the start. I'm just the beginning. This is like... I mean, it, it feels weird to say this because I've been, you know, four years ago is when I had the idea. But this is like day one to me. 
everything else has just been ideas leading up to this. So we're just getting started. Uh, yeah, I started coming around whenever we were still Hope Arts over at the church, and I just started coming every week, and then whenever he was like, I want to move into something bigger, I said, okay, let's do this. bringing the community together. Um, I started hosting Spin Jams a couple years ago before I was very involved in the community because there just wasn't much of a community that I could find. Um, and it's really awesome to get everybody here together and we can just learn from each other and feed off of each other um, and just bring the community close together. I think that's the most important part of spinning and that's what I hold like dearest to me is this community. I mean, I love hoops, but it's the community that makes it like worth it, you know. Um, I love the fact that I can just be myself. I guess um, I, I played sports my whole life. It was always team mentality, get things done, get in, get out, get over it. And when I came into this community, it was let's help each other, get things done, that same thing. But it was more about individual growth. How can I help you? How can you help me? I'd like to see maybe some uh, dancers. I want to see some hip-hop dancing and um, more clown acts, more like funny acts, you know. So easy to love the rhythm in your eyes, in your eyes, the rhythm in your eyes. The breeze, it seems I trust it, it helps me fly. Way up high, you know, it helps me fly. So easy to love the rhythm in your eyes, in your eyes, the rhythm in your eyes. The breeze, it seems I trust it, it helps me fly. Way up high, you know, it helps me fly. what a huge community this is, especially here in Ohio, and just how versatile it is, how many things you can do with it. There were so many types of expression, so many different props, and people just playing with fire in new ways that I had never imagined, so it was really the perfect way to get started and everything. So it's the same thing that everybody says, it's all, it's all about the community and growing that space and interconnecting it to, to the other communities involved too, but also spreading that and inspiring other people to do the same thing and growing those communities in their own city. I do believe that's like truly important to connect and like work together to grow this community because it's really, really amazing and I, you, you won't talk to anybody that doesn't tell you how, how inspiring picking up a toy and spinning it and what, how it's changed their life and, and the better. And to be able to have a place and to support that growth inside someone is truly, truly amazing.
Lynette. My name is Scott Thompson. I'm Clarissa Owen. I'm Erica Bannis. Drew Della. Here we are, 24-7. We, uh, we found our home.